basics are ball position. So if the ball's directly in front of your feet, you can't run quick, you'll kick it. So you need to have the ball outside your feet. People say that sort of two o'clock position. If this is my clock base, 12, one, two. Um, so I'm in that position there. It's out in front of you so I can have my head up and also in the, my periphery vision, I can see the ball. When you're running at pace with a ball, sometimes you can just shift your hand a little bit higher up. If you do that, it brings your body up and if you're a little bit more upright, you can run a bit quicker. The most important thing, ironically, about being successful at running at pace with the ball is knowing when to slow down. No one's ever gonna be able to run at pace with the ball the length of the pitch without a change of direction, without stopping, without skill. The, the best ball carriers in the world and the, the, the guys who can run at a real pace, then it's their ability to change pace. If you've got a guy who can look like he's putting not, not any more effort in, but he does have the ability to change a gear, and move quicker, very, very difficult for defenders. So once you're brilliant at running at pace with the ball, then it's your ability to slightly change your pace. So I'm running, I know there's a congested area with defenders, am I slowing down ready for a skill, but looking like I'm running in the same motion, then to accelerate and move past them before they really clock that change of pace. Defenders want to deny you space, they want to deny you time, and they want to deny you information. As an attacker receiving the ball, you want to get as much information as possible, you want to give yourself as much time as possible, and you do that by moving to space, and you want to make it life more difficult for the defenders by getting them moving. You do that by being on the move yourself. Ideally, you're always taking in information and you'll always be pre-scanning, and if you are, then you can get a really good first touch on the move, and you can set off on your, on your pacey run. But a lot of the time you might receive the ball as well. You might beat the first person and then you accelerate and then you're in your, to your high speed running. As soon as you're still, it becomes easy for them. Not, not really, other than the fact that if I am running at pace, the ball most of the time is, is, is out in front of me. If I want to make passes towards the inside of the pitch, I've got to be aware that I've got to let my feet just catch the ball up and let the ball drop back. On the left hand side, it's more difficult to pass the ball infield. So working on those skills of either dragging the ball back to pass it or just slowing the ball down as my feet continue to accelerate. So then I've got power and strength to push the ball. Work on speed in a low position. Um, get your hands close to the ground. It's very, very difficult and there are a lot of people in the world and there are a lot of hockey players who are very, very quick without a stick and ball at their feet. Um, so really do practice those acceleration positions from a slightly lower position uh, because it is very different. It demands different muscles. It, it demands a different level of sort of stability. I mean, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't say throwing the ball off your stick is something you'd ever practice at a high level. I wouldn't advocate necessarily practicing that technique down a pitch, chucking the ball, going after it, chucking the ball, going after it. Um, because I would say most of the time that's not gonna work. You wanna have the ball, you wanna have the control, and the only way you have control is when you've got hold of the ball at your feet. Um, however, there are times when defenders have closed me down, it's unlikely for me to get through that block without letting the ball come off my stick. Once you're good enough at running at pace, passing the ball, and you have good enough hands, you understand when it's appropriate to chuck the ball off your stick and go after it.